let's talk about which composting worm is the best. So here we go. Enjoy the video. Well, hello. This is my first bin that has red wigglers. And I've heard that it, there could also be a mixture of blue worms in here. But red wigglers were the first batch of worms that I ever purchased. And I really never had any bad feedback or anything negative with my red wiggler worms. I bought 2,000. They're great composting worms. So I really see no bad results when it comes to my red wigglers. A lot of people are trying to do a full batch of red wigglers. They want to have a pure breed of red wigglers. And my suggestion and advice for you would be if you would like to have a pure breed of red wigglers and if your worms are mixed I would advise you to separate your red wigglers from your blue worms. But I'm going to feed my this worm bin some food scraps. I'm going to take the bait cup system out of here because it's a great system. I like the results, so when I want to migrate my worms over, I will definitely be using that method once again. But I'm going to pour them all out of there. And then wash this out. Blue worms, when I first got figured out that they, there was a mixture of blue worms in there, that's the onion stem, they tried to get out a lot more than red wigglers because blue worms are more temperamental worms or not temperamental they if the atmosphere changes they will like to escape the bin but I'm going to give them some cantaloupe and the question for you right now viewer when you feed your worms food scraps do you place your cantaloupe pills downside or face side up I put mine this way because it allows the worms to get to the food a lot easier. But you got to be careful. Make sure that you have, let me do this, make sure you have a lot more cardboard or something or newspaper to absorb the moisture because these type of fruits have moisture that can seep down into your your worm bands but for right now like I said red wiggers they're a good worm to start with I bought 2,000 but you can start with any amount of worms that works for you but the more the more worms you have the more food scraps that, that they can consume but also Worms multiply every three months, so the population doubles. So that's one thing to look into when it comes to your red wiggers or blue worms. Now, let's talk about European night crawlers. Now, when it comes to European night crawlers, they're a good worm as well. The thing I like about them. When you first get them, they're a nice size worm. But after a while, if you don't give them the right type of substance, which is called worm chow, they lose their girth. They're not as big. But European night crawlers, think I like about them if you're into fishing. They're a great worm to use for fishing and are also a great composting worm. Europeans, red wigglers and blue worms, if you can maintain the temperature between 45 to 75 degrees, these three type of worms will compost 24-7 and you will consistently be having 
some castings from your worms. So the European Nightcrawler is also a good worm to look into. Another worm that I do not have is the African Nightcrawler. And they say that that worm is more of a tropical worm. And um, it's got to have like the temperature ranges from at least 55 to 80 to be successful. If I lived in a warmer climate, I would raise the African night crawlers, but I don't. But for now, I'm going to show you my other band that I like the best, and I'll tell you the reason why. I forgot to feed these worms, so let me give them some food scraps as well. So here they go. Some of the cantaloupe. And they'll be good to go. So now it's time to look at my diversity and inclusion worm bin. Here goes my diversity and inclusion worm bin. It has a mixture of red wigglers, blue worms, and European night crawlers. If I had African night crawlers, I would have them in here as well. But those are the type, the, the three worms that I raise. But I just put new bedding in this one a few weeks ago, so they're good for now. But the thing that I like about the worm bin with the mixed worm bin, uh, the mixed worms, is that you are able to have different type of worms, have different type of castings, and they all consume the food scraps. And another thing that I noticed too is with this bin here, if you wanted to, when your herd starts to multiply, if you want a worm bin with only red wigglers, you could start that by separating all your red wigglers out. If you want to have European night crawlers, you could do that as well. Or you can have blue worms. But this is the best bin I like. The bin I like the most because, like I said, there's a variety of worm species in here. And I have no results. But since you stayed this long, I'm going to show you two of my other bins that have more European night crawlers in my worm bucket. So here are my European night crawlers in another worm bin. And a question for you, leave in the comments box below, there are a couple worms on the side. What type of worms do you raise and why do you raise them? But these are some Europeans that are chilling on the side of the worm bin. They're going to town on the food scraps that were placed inside of this bin. But I'm going to give them some, some of the food scraps as well. So let them get some of this cantaloupe. Which I'm going to place inside of this newspaper. And just set that covered up with the bedding and call this one good and now let's look at the final worm bin with the mixed worms in my worm bucket okay here goes my worm bucket get my glove back on That this system has been running for about two months. I'm going to check on it and harvest it within the next month to see how things have turned out in this worm bin. But this one has cocoa core. It has a mixture of red wigglers, blue worms, and European night crawlers as well. But here's another video to check out about worms. I hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to my channel if you like what you're hearing and watching from me. I just want to take time out to say thank you all so much for watching. And you have a great day. Bye.